Huge wins overnight for both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. The two front runners each winning seven states on Super Tuesday. Donald Trump claims victory all over the map, all the way from Arkansas to Massachusetts. He also got support from all kinds of GOP voters, but his success now threatens to split that party. As Democrats begin to unify behind Hillary Clinton, her seven wins over Bernie Sanders include a giant victory in Texas. She has built up a big lead in that all-important race for convention. Delegates, Robin, you called it a collision course. This could be setting up an epic battle by November. It could. Our team is covering every angle, as you can imagine, this morning. We begin with ABC's Tom Yamas, who's outside of Trump Tower here in New York. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. Such an incredible night. Not exactly a Trump tidal wave, but the rookie politician winning a majority of the states last night. This, as more and more in the GOP are saying, if someone's going to beat Trump, other candidates need to drop out. Overnight, Donald Trump going from being the front runner to appearing unstoppable. This isn't like it's a close match. I mean, it's only too bad that winner didn't take all. Because if winner took all, this thing is over. We're just having a celebration. Trump soaking up huge Super Tuesday wins all over the map. His victory party in a familiar place, a room filled with cameras and reporters beaming out live from his Florida Mar-a-Lago resort. We've done something that almost nobody thought could be done. And I'm very proud of it. I am a unifier. Trump introduced by his new super fan, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. The internet exploding with the new political tag team. The American people are listening to him, and he's bringing the country together. That, ladies and gentlemen, is not a campaign. It's a movement. Trump so confident he would win, he didn't spend any part of Super Tuesday in a Super Tuesday state. But he took almost every one of them. Record turnout in Virginia. So many voters there that one county ran out of ballots. We have expanded the Republican Party. But not all Republicans want Trump as their candidate. New money and staffing going into an anti-Trump super PAC that's even hired Jeb Bush's former communications director to stop Trump. And in Texas and Oklahoma, voters supported Senator Ted Cruz over Trump. Cruz speaking to George after his win. Well, George, tonight was a terrific night. Uh, we had major victories in Texas, which, as you know, is the crown jewel of Super Tuesday, the most delegates of any one state. I'll tell you, a lot of Republicans view it. If, if we nominate Do Donald Trump, it'll be a disaster for Republicans and a disaster for the country. And, and what, what I think we saw tonight and what I hope we'll see in the days to come is Republicans unifying and coming together. Senator Rubio with a desperately needed victory in Minnesota, saying he will stop Trump in Florida, Rubio's home state. Two weeks from tonight, right here in Florida, we are going to send a message loud and clear that the party of Lincoln and Reagan and the presidency of the United States will never be held by a con artist. Now, Senator Rubio and Governor Kasich both campaigning in Michigan today, Cruz is campaigning in Kansas, and the big winner, Donald Trump, taking the day off. Tomorrow, a big GOP debate. It'll be the first time Trump and Fox News' Megyn Kelly face off on a debate stage again. George and Robin? High stakes at that one as well. Right, right.